So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P0031 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Toyota P0031 code? Well, it's an oxygen AF sensor heater control circuit low bank one sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses different sensors to know how much oxygen is going into the engine and how much is getting burnt off and going out. And an oxygen sensor that reads this on the exhaust is showing the errors. So the onboard computer is giving this code. And some possible causes could be a bad oxygen sensor. There could be in the wiring, could be an open or short. The harness connection might not be good. And it could be a failed relay or fuse also. And so there's going to be two oxygen sensors. They're going to be an upstream and a downstream oxygen sensor. And so there's one after the catalytic converter and one before the catalytic converter. And the one before the catalytic converter is called an upstream sensor or sensor one. And the one after the catalytic converter is called a downstream sensor or sensor two. And the one this is having an issue with is the upstream, which is sensor one. So it's going to be before the catalytic converter. And they can be down on the exhaust underneath the car, but quite commonly the upstream sensor can also be up underneath the hood in the engine compartment on the exhaust manifold. And so it could just vary. You'll have to Google it for your particular Toyota or just go and look, but it's going to be the one before the catalytic converter, but it'll be on the exhaust somewhere. And so the first thing to do after you find the upstream oxygen sensor is going to be to check out the wiring because bad wiring, a bad connection, an open short, anything like this can cause the same symptoms as a bad O2 sensor. So you're going to want to check that out and be sure that's all good. And one thing to keep in mind too is that this whole circuit's on a fuse and a relay. They'll usually be labeled like right here, AF heater. That's a relay. And if that relay goes bad, then it could cause issues. Every Toyota is a little different, but quite often inside the engine compartment, they'll have a fuse box. You can look for something along these lines, like AF heater or something like that. And quite commonly, there's a fuse and a relay, but it could just vary. So again, you'll have to Google it for your particular Toyota. But just keep in mind that there might be a bad relay or fuse. And so if you check all that out, then the most common problem is just going to be that the O2 sensor needs to be replaced. And they're low-cost parts. They're not expensive or anything. I'll jump over on Amazon, give you an idea how much they cost right now. They're, they range around $20, $30, $40. So they're not super high-cost parts or anything. And so most people would just go ahead and swap them out. One thing to keep in mind is that there is a special tool that you could buy to install O2 sensors and sometimes they're not needed and then sometimes they are sometimes they'll be recessed in where you almost need the tool but Toyota is usually pretty good about you could just use an open-end wrench but you want to examine it and be sure because you won't be able to use a socket to get it back in since that wire is going to be in the way so be sure it's in the open like this if it's recessed in then you might need to get the socket and so what do you do if you have a Toyota with the P0031 code? Well, first thing to do, locate the upstream oxygen sensor on your particular Toyota since there can be differences, but it'll be the one before the catalytic converter. So it might be down underneath the vehicle, and but quite commonly they're up on the exhaust manifold like in this image right here. After you locate it, check all the wiring. Be sure the wiring is good. Be sure it's plugged in. There's no open shorts, anything like this. Bad wiring could cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. And most people would just go ahead and swap out the sensor since it's a low cost part. And then if that's an issue, then they get into the wiring more. If you are looking at the wiring, keep in mind that it could be on a fuse or a relay. So you want to look at your particular Toyota fuse box that's inside the engine compartment to see if anything that a fuse is blown or if a relay has gone bad. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Toyota with the P0031 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.